fishing <laughs> for jobs. How do you like that? With Love Corey it. Pretty Fish. good, yeah. I don't know if our form is good. I think you, you, you I cast. Mine's not bad. A little more risk. You risky. cast, yeah. and then you just give it a little bit, and then you, and you, you pull, pull it in. Right, and then you come back down. And yeah, then you and then you hold reel. it and take the picture. Hey. Right. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Corey. If it What's works, up? it works. Yeah. You know, as yeah. long as you get the line out there. How's it going? Excellent, excellent. Well, we're back today with our sponsor, GW Plastics from Arizona. They're back trying to get folks to come out. They're recruiting big time, they aren't are. they? They're trying to get folks out there, an injection molding plastics company in Arizona, and uh, trying to take advantage of the, the medical uh, device uh, manufacturers that we have out here and get them to go out to Arizona. So if you're looking for shorter commute, looking for less traffic, uh, lower taxes. They're they're looking for jobs out there. So head um, head over to uh, gwplastics.com. Is that where in Arizona are we talking about? Where in Arizona? See, that was a good question. Yeah. That, that is a good question. question. Caught you off I, guard I don't have. I because you are say, we Scottsdale or are we right? Because you, know, you, you say Tempe, less traffic. Let me tell you something. Phoenix, Phoenix has just exploded over the last I don't know ten years or so, and the traffic there can be bad too. Yeah, let me it tell can you. Be. Yeah. Well, the taxes are certainly lower. Yes, right. So and the home prices are lower. But your summers, lower. Uh, you're running from one air-conditioned place to the yeah. other. Listen, bottom line is, listen, if you need a job and you'll do whatever it takes, you'll move to Arizona to go work for GW Plastics. We and we wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Good deal. Excellent. Well, let's move to a resume, all right? So, let's do it. so we, we see openings now. Let's let's get a resume going. So we've got a gentleman who sent his resume here today, and he's he's fallen into the trap of I, everyone tells me I gotta have one page, right? One page resume, and that's it. So what he's Oy. done here, he's cram he's he's crammed, and he's so worried about the one pager that there's zero spacing here. And you said it right off the bat, Scott. Oi, right? Yeah. <laughs> but. You know, the first thing that I see on it, besides the spacing, is there's also just, there's, there's stuff up here. He's a great team player. Yeah, okay, do you great. need that? Yeah, He's dependability. dependability. <laughs> uh, trainable. Uh, How about hardworking hard, and dedicated? Hardworking. Reliable and flexible. Uh, Security guard card. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of stuff at top that you could just get out of the way uh, by by eliminating right, 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 right. more space. Reliable also, and there, flexible. Right, there was another line right down there at the end yeah. underneath all of his things that he was That's flexible right. and dedicated. Right. And all that. There was a line like, I'm willing and able to learn it, anything you want. Yeah, uh, well, interested we, to learn. Yeah, well, I'm interested to learn. Well, we, we hope so. I would think you just assume that yeah. going in, right? I, I, listen, I'm no, I'm no resume critic, but I just do know this, that when I would pick up a resume from somebody, we've had a lot of people applying for producer type jobs and mm -hmm. so on. I would say, it's not about what you're willing to do, it's about what you can bring. That's the way I always think about it. It's like the first thing I want to tell people on a resume is, this is what I bring what to make to your table? company better. Right. And, and the accomplishments, which is why I always, and I always advise people, put those accomplishments, the hardcore stuff that you have, right on top. So you'll, you'll draw them in, and, and maybe you'll read another six seconds and another six seconds. But you've got to start by getting um, the good stuff on right. top. Am I trainable? Am I willing to work hard? Hopefully, we're all willing to work hard. Right. Hopefully, we're all detail-oriented. So we just made a couple of changes. <clears throat> to the formatting, at least we got rid of some of the, some of the fluff that's just you know not not as important as the trainable, dependable stuff, right. and, and stuck just to the machine operator, just the hardcore so that he has on there. Look how much better that looks. Look how nice and clean that looks. You much know, it, better. it did put it into a second page, but again, if we're reading it online, the pages the pages aren't right. Gonna that doesn't as matter much. so much, right? I, I, the, the old the way he had it, I'm not even going to get to the second page. Right. So it didn't even matter. Exactly. Very nice. All right, so nice that's what you up. do. You, you you send your resume resume dot review at utsandiego.com, and who knows? Maybe next week Corey will be analyzing and fixing your, your resume right, right here. here, and then maybe we'll help you find a job. Thank you, Corey. You got it. Appreciate it.